AutoCAD students, today's objective is to create a CTB file. A CTB file is a pen file that you apply when you're going to print or plot that allows you to print different shades of gray or blacks or colors. Okay, in this instance, we're going to make a CTB file that will allow us to print different shades of gray to a black and white printer. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. What I've done is I've actually created a file and I've put um, hatch in on different layers and each layer corresponds with a different color. So up here we have layer 8 is color 8, layer 9 is color 9, 250 is 250 and so on. Okay, all right. Now let's just take a look and go over here to our Layout 1 tab and let's pretend we're going to print this. All right, so let me go to Plot. All right, now normally when I print to a black and white printer, um, I use the monochrome CTB. Okay, and the monochrome CTB takes all of your line work and prints it black. All right, so let's just take a look at a preview and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's an example of using a monochrome CTB file before we print. And you'll notice it takes every color in AutoCAD and makes it black. All right, so I'm going to escape that. Now let's take a look at the CTB file I made. Most of the lines print black, but I've made it so that the gray colors print gray. Okay, so let's apply that one and let's take a look at the preview. All right, so you can see here that it's actually showing the shades of gray that correspond to the shades of gray on the screen. All right, so let's see, how did I create that? Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's create a new one. All right, and we're gonna actually go to the plot dialog box and we're going to start with the monochrome CTB file. Okay, because I do want most of my line work to print black. So we're going to go start there and we're going to pick on this button here that is going to edit the monochrome CTB file. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is give this a new name because I don't want to overwrite the monochrome file. So let's come down here to save as. Okay, and let's call this the mono because it's mostly going to be black, gray, file. And it will give it the file extension of CTB. So we're going to call it mono gray file. Okay, so let's take a look at what's in this file. All right, so here I am in the form view tab. And you're going to notice that each color that I pick on here um, is the color that is on the screen in AutoCAD, but over here is the color that it's going to print. So notice that color 1 prints black, color 2 prints black, color 3 prints black. And that is um, the setting for all of the colors right now. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the gray colors, color 8, uh, let's come over here to index color, print color 8. And I'm going to make color 9, come down to select color, print color 9. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down to the other gray colors. Okay, and again, um, you're going to make the color, you can actually type it in here so if you don't want to find it. Color 250 will print color 250. Okay, and so on. And my last color is color 255. Okay, so we've already saved this as mono gray files. Let's just pick save and close. All right, and now from here, if I look alphabetically, here it is mono gray file. Okay, let's do a preview. And there's the preview that looks like what I want. And let's pick OK. And it should print now to PDF. So notice here I'm going to um, a PDF file. I just need to find where exactly I want to save it. Save the drawing. 
And here it's opened up in my um, Adobe Acrobat as a PDF. And I can now attach this file and put it in an email or I can send it to the printer. And I've got the shades of gray that I want with my black and white line work. I hope that helps in creating a CTB file and stay tuned for the next tutorial.